Welcome to My Personal Geek, the channel dedicated to helping the non-technical master their computer. In this video, we'll be creating an email template in Microsoft Outlook. Templates are powerful tools that you'll use to simplify repetitive tasks. If you find yourself sending out emails that contain a lot of the same information, why not create a template that has all that information already in it? Software applications are all about managing information and saving time, and using templates does just that. We're using a PC running Microsoft Windows 7 and Outlook 2007. So as a first step, let's check your version of Outlook. And to do so, we'll mouse over Help and select About Microsoft Office Outlook. And here we can verify that we are in fact using Outlook 2007. We'll click OK to close. And if you're using a version of Outlook that's older than 2007, the steps and screens you'll see here may be slightly different, but you should be able to apply the knowledge you'll gain here to your version. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is create an email that we want to use as our template. This might be an email that we regularly use and want to avoid having to retype the same information in it each time we send it out. It could be a weekly update that you send out to a group of people or even a cover letter to accompany your resume when applying for a job. Why type the same information over and over again when you can utilize the power of templates and just make minor changes? I've created an example of an email that's distributed on a weekly basis to my sales team to update on their performance to quota. I have it here in drafts, so we'll open that up. I have a date field and a table that needs to be changed each week. Other than that, the email remains the same. So to create a template, we simply go to the Command button, click the Command button, click Save As, and the file name will remain Weekly Sales Performance and then save as type we're going to open up that drop down list and we're going to select Outlook template and then we'll click save and I already have one that says weekly sales performance do I want to overwrite that and we'll say yes in this case so now I've created a template so whenever I want to use a template it's very simple I go to tools I select Forms and then Choose Form. And then in the Look In box, I'll open the drop down and we'll select User Templates in a File System. And there's my template, Weekly Sales Performance. So I'll select that, click Open. And here my template is ready to use. So each week I simply change the date field and maybe this is the week of April 6 for example and then under John S maybe John did five thousand dollars and Steve did twenty five thousand and Linda forty five hundred and Marty six thousand and as you can see, I can add my percentage to quota. Maybe this is 89. This is 92. And then I can also put a year-to-date total in there. Everything else in the email remains the same. And as you can see, I've even defaulted in a subject, which is weekly sales performance. And also, FYI, if I send this out to the same people each week, I could save the template with the distribution list in here but in this case I didn't so I'd have to add the distribution list so it's ready to send out so I'm gonna close that and I'll click no to saving changes so what happens if I need to make a change to the template that's pretty easy also we'll go back up to tools click on tools go to forms choose form 
Once again, in the look in box, I'll open that out and choose User Templates and File Systems. Select my weekly sales performance template, and I'll open that. Here's my template, and for example, maybe I've added a new salesperson. Well, I'll right-click in the, into the table. I'll insert another row. And maybe that salesperson, his name is Susan M. Add another dollar sign, a percent sign, and another dollar sign. And now I want to save this once again. I'll click on my command button. Save as. Save it as weekly sales performance, but I want to open up the save as file type and choose Outlook template. Click save. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite the existing file. I'll click yes. And now I've modified my template. I'll close that out. So whenever I want to use this template, once again I go to Tools, Forms, Choose Form, open the drop-down list, select User Templates and File System, select Weekly Sales Performance, click Open, and there's my new form. So as you can see, this is a tremendous time saver. It eliminates the need to type in the same information over and over again. Templates are a very powerful feature with Microsoft Outlook. So let's close this. Now, unfortunately, Outlook doesn't provide a mechanism for deleting custom templates within the application. For that, you'll need to drill down through the Windows file system. So if you need to delete a custom template that you've created, please see the companion video, Deleting Custom Templates in Microsoft Outlook 2007. And thanks for watching.